The next issue is on the validity of the suspension of the second proviso to Article 3 as applicable to Jammu and Kashmir. When the reorganization bill was introduced, that is on 5 August 2019, the second proviso to Article 3, as it applied to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, ceased to exist because of CO 272. Thus, the issue of whether the second proviso to Article 3 could have been suspended in exercise of the power under Article 356.1c does not survive. The next issue is the validity of the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act 2019. The Solicitor General, appearing for the Union of India, submitted that statehood will be restored to Jammu and Kashmir and that its status as a, as a union territory is temporary. The Solicitor General submitted that the status of the union territory of Ladakh will not be affected by the restoration of statehood to Jammu and Kashmir. In view of the submission made by the Solicitor General, that statehood would be restored of Jammu and Kashmir, we do not find it necessary to determine whether the reorganization of the state of Jammu and Kashmir into two union territories of Ladakh and Jammu and Kashmir is permissible under Article 3. The status of Ladakh as a union territory is upheld because Article 3A, read with explanation 1, permits forming a union territory by separation of a territory from any state. This court is alive to the security concerns in the territory. Direct elections to the legislative assemblies, which is one of the paramount features.